Despite low-budget decorating, Formosa Tea House has managed to create an atmosphere with some appeal. For example, wall hangings feature the Taiwanese language. Characters are also painted directly on the walls. Shelves feature teapots, jars of loose tea, ruibos, jasmine, green, oolong, and beauty, corpulent and thin Buddhas, smiling and non-smiling. Formosa has a wide selection of hot and cold teas on its menu. We poured jasmine, very clear, very clean on the palate. Then it was time to tuck into a plate of crystal-skinned fried dumplings. They tasted of shiitake mushrooms and savoy cabbage in a thin flour wrapper. Formosa's dumplings would have benefited from a little more mushroom and ginger. The spring rolls looked artisanal or handmade, exhibiting the slight imperfections of something made manually. Such foods come with the inherent, if unspoken, promise that they'll taste better than anything made by a machine. Formosas did. A puddle of sweet, plummy sauce that looked like red nail varnish helped. The spicy Hongshao soup had the earthy complexity that comes from something that spent time on a low stove. An eye-catching piece of yellow cob corn was surrounded by broccoli florets, mushrooms, and cubed tofu. It was a well-made soup. Formosa's plate of seasonal fried veggies tasted about as dry as steamed veggies, but were still palatable. The tofu salad supplied more enjoyment. Visually, it was feral, like a Gerald Squires painting or something ripped from the surface of a bog. A thick slice of tofu was covered with lettuce, viscous soy sauce, and crispy, irregular-shaped tempura-like flakes. It was an outstanding arrangement of textures accented by the familiar, welcome saltiness of soy sauce. Formosa's Formosa rice was white sticky rice topped with something that looked like well-browned minced beef. It was a combination of bean curd product, shiitake mushrooms, and seasonings. Another equally good but different rice dish called bamboo rice came wrapped in a banana leaf. Unwrapped, it looked like haggis. The sticky rice was laced with morsels of veggie ham, gluten, and shiitake mushrooms. Apart from its texture, much of this dish's appeal came from a pervasive yet subtle taste of caramel. The caboose of this clickety-clack express of dishes was a simple, sweet jasmine jelly. A monochrome dessert. One color, one texture, one flavor. Sometimes that's all you want. Formosa Tea House had created the perfect, refreshing end to our meal. Formosa Tea House receives a good rating of two stars out of four. Lunch for two with tea, tip, and tax costs approximately $30. For more details, call 579-8973.